different essays and different bases have different strength and so on uh, that is our next aspect that's that is what i want us uh, to touch on so we'll talk about uh strength of weak and strong ethics uh, dilute and concentrated solutions and the ka and the kb values ka and kb values uh, derived from kc right chemical equilibrium and then acid base reactions and neutralization reactions right so let's go ahead and take a look at it a weak acid or base is one where only a small percentage of molecules will dissociate to form ions in a solution a weak acid or a base is one where a small percentage of molecules will dissociate to form ions in a solution right so weak acids ionize in completely in order to form a low concentration of h3o plus while weak bases dissociate or ionize in completely to form a low concentration of oh minus so if a base or an acid uh, produces a low concentration of h3o plus or oh minus then it is considered weak an example of a weak acid is hydrofluoric acid hf of which uh, when it ionizes it produces a low concentration of h3o plus uh, we can see that denoted by the arrow here that in the forward reaction not much products are formed right it produces a low concentration of h3o plus an example of a weak base is magnesium hydroxide which only dissociates partially into mg2 plus and oh ions let's talk about this ka value and kb value that is derived from chemical equilibrium so ka will always take the products if they are aqueous or gases no liquids or solids so ka in this case will be h3o plus and then multiplied by the concentration of f minus everything divided by the concentration of h f obviously we're not going to include h2o because it is a liquid in these expressions we only consider gases and aqueous solutions so let's take a look ka so we're saying that uh, this is a weak acid so the ka value we expect it to be less than one in weak acids so in weak acids the ka value is less than one for hcl for instance uh, which we know to be a strong acid uh, the ka value would be greater than one why will the ka value be, be greater than one because our denominator will be greater than our numerator because it produces a higher concentration of h3o plus right here we have ka being less than one because it is a weak acid we're gonna have we're gonna have a proper fraction if we have a proper fraction it is a weak acid but then if we have an improper fraction then it is a strong acid our ka value will be greater than one so this is for a strong acids all right and then uh, we can also derive almost the same for bases we have what we call the kb value for bases so it is the ionization or dissociation constant of which uh, still the same thing applies if kb is less than one then we have a weak base and then if kb is greater than one then we have a strong base not a weak but a strong base we have a strong base right and then whether it is greater than one or less than one it is going to be decided by the concentration of oh minus right so this is a weak and strong basis if you have a strong acid and you want to use it most of the time you have to dilute it first just to weaken it a bit because it is too corrosive to use in its uh, original state so let's touch on diluted and concentrated it is clearly depicted in this picture take a look at concentrated and take a look at dilute when you look at when you take a look at dilute you can see that we have a few 
molecules of whatever substance we have there and then in concentrated well it is concentrated let's take a look at the definitions a concentrated solution is one where there is a high ratio of dissolved substance right solute to solvent and then dilute solution is one where there is a low ratio of dissolved substance to solvent right so that is concentrated and dilute and uh, this is what we are essentially saying an acid is strong if there is a high percentage of ions formed in the solution and a base is strong if there is a high percentage of ions in the solution an acid is going to be h plus and the base is going to be oh minus and then a weak acid only a small percentage of ions are formed in the solution while a weak base it's the same right just different ions in acid we know that it is h plus and then basis it is oh minus now let's talk about concentrated and dilute concentrated large number of molecules of acid in a solution while dilute we have a small number of molecules in a solution and then the base well quite the same large number of molecules in a base solution and then a small number of molecules of base in the solution uh, that is uh, dilute so we have talked about uh, the strength and we've talked about concentrated and dilute